Church. My name is Tamara Wamboy. I'm five years old. Welcome to the service. Bye. I'm gonna shine. This is the light of mine. your place and Woo-hoo! sleep there. Sure, why not? Finally we get to go and do a sleepover. I guess yes. Wait, why don't you look so happy though? Well, I kind of broke mom's flower vase <gasps> and I don't want to go back there. I know she's mad at me. Wait, your parents don't know you're here? Shh. So them with your parents that other side. Please keep your volume down. Okay, but seriously, you have to go and talk to them. Easy for you to say you don't know my mom. Hm. Remember the parable of the prodigal son in the Bible? Yeah, I do, but I did not steal from home like him. <laughs> well, what I mean is that when you ask for forgiveness mm-hmm. like he did, I'm sure you will be forgiven. Oh, um, okay. Oh, yeah. I just remember the other day, mm-hmm. I tore dad's book and drew pictures on it. <laughs> Even though he was annoyed when I asked for forgiveness, mm-hmm. he forgave me. Now you see, imagine how your heavenly father can do to us. Well, say no more. I shall go and ask mom for forgiveness. Lovely. Now, 
then you can ask them for permission so that we can do the sleepover. Yay! Let me go and talk to mom. But wait. Yeah? Hmm. You know this song? Which one? I'm forgiven because I'm forsaken. I'm accepted. You are condemned. I'm alive and well, your spirit lives within me Because you died and rose again Amazing love, Amazing love, how can it be That you, my king, would die for me? Thank you, Shelly and Kadogo, for that awesome introduction on today's lesson. Thank you, worship team, even for that awesome introduction and the singing. Boys and girls, could you help me uh, join me to uh, appreciate them? Thank you. My name is Teacher Massimo Tile, and I love the Lord. I'm humbled to have an opportunity to share God's word today with you. Let's begin with a word of prayer. Boys and girls, what do we do when we want to pray? Yes, we put our hands together, we close our eyes, we bow our heads, and then we pray. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you, Lord, for each and every boy and girl who is listening in, in the, on the radio, on the television. We pray, oh God, that may this word minister to them and to the glory of your holy name. In Jesus' name, we do pray and believe. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Can you remember what we, we, we've been learning? Yes, you've been learning the parables of Jesus. Parables are short stories that Jesus was telling to help us to understand more about God and the kingdom of God. In the last lesson, teacher Sam taught us on the parable of the yeast. Did you do your craft work? Well done. Can you remember the memory verse? Clap for yourself if you can. Keep on doing your craft work and your, uh, and your memory verse so that you can hide God's word in your heart. Awesome. Now, on today's lesson, I'd like to show you a picture. What am I holding? Yes, it's a picture of a love heart shape. The Bible tells us that God is love. And he, he first loved us, and that is how we are able to love one another. Love is being kind and being patient. We see how we love one another when our mommy and our daddies, they hug us, they play with us, and we spend time together. When we, are, when we, are, when we enjoy having birthday parties, when they give us birthday parties, and we enjoy all this love and warming feelings from one another. And sometimes we don't do nice things to the people we love. Yes, sometimes we may disobey our parents and hurt them. But boys and girls, what do we do? Yes, we are supposed to say sorry to, to them. In our lesson today, we're going to be learning about that God loves everyone. And he really wants us to stay close to him. He doesn't want us to go far away. Jesus teaches us in the parable of the lost son. The parable of the lost son. The Bible story will come from the book of Luke chapter 15, verse 11 to 32. Are you ready to hear the Bible story? Well done. One day, there was a man who had two sons. One of his youngest son came to the father and asked him for his inheritance. This was not a good thing. Inheritance means it was the, the father's property or money, which was to be given later on. But the young son insisted and he kept on asking for 
the property. The father gave it to him. The young son, he took that property and, and money and he went to a far, far away place where he was not together with the family and the father. That was not a good thing. It was not good. And while he was in that far and far, play, far away place, he used up all the property and money. He wasted it. He did bad things and he finished everything that he was given by the father. That was sad. And do you know what, boys and girls? He used everything until he did not have even money to buy food. No, he wasn't able to buy food. He became so sad and hungry. And he, he was working in a place where there were many pigs. Have you ever seen a pig? Yes, he was working somewhere there and he was so hungry and he did not have any food until he felt like he could eat the food of the pig. Oh, that would have been very bad. While he was there feeling hungry, he could remember how the father used to love him, how he would hug him, and he was missing the father. He was sad and lonely. And then he remembered, I can go back to my father's place. My father's house, they are workers. You know, like the way we have aunties back at home. Yes, he could remember that the father's house has workers and they eat good food. Yes, what food? Yes, maybe it was some chips, maybe it was some ugali. Yes, all those yummy things. And he remembered. But he also knows that he had done wrong to the father. And so he wondered, what do I do? What do I do? And so he said to himself, I will go back and say sorry to my father. And then I'll tell him I can also be a worker. And so he started going back home. And maybe when he was going back home, he was singing a song. I have decided to follow Jesus. Yes, he, was, he had chosen that he was going to go back home to his father. What is going to happen, boys and girls? Will the father welcome him or will the father beat him? Let us listen to the story. Well, he was still far, far, far away. The father saw him and he was full of love and he ran towards the, father, the son. He ran towards him and he hugged him and he welcomed him back home. The son felt so nice and wonderful. Oh my, my father has shown me so much love. And he remembered to say what? Sorry. He said sorry for all those things that he had done. And do you know what? The father forgave him and he gave him some new clothes, some new shoes, and even threw him a celebration party. Yes, with all the balloons and all the cartoons, he gave him a party. It must have been wonderful. The son felt special and he felt loved and he felt warm. Now, boys and girls, that is the end of the story. What did you hear from the story? What did you learn from the story? Mm -hmm. Yes, the son, he went far, far away and he suffered a lot when he was not together with the, with the father. Mm -hmm. Number two, the son, he remembered that he had done wrong and he decided to go back to the, to the father. Number three, the father showed a lot of love to the, to the son. He ran towards him and hugged him and welcomed him back home. And he even threw him a celebration party. He showed love and he forgave him. Now, boys and girls, this story teaches us what God our Father is like. Yes, he wants us to remain close to him. He doesn't want us to go far, far away. That way we will be lost. He doesn't want that. And if we go far away, he wants us to return back to him. He's going to welcome us with open arms back to him. He loves us very, very much. 
and boys and girls. Our Father God also desires that when we do wrong and disobey his commands, we say sorry so that he forgives us. That is how, what we are learning from this story. Now, boys and girls, maybe you're here and you're listening in and maybe Jesus Christ is not your friend and your Lord and your Savior. So what are you going to do? Do you know God gave us his best gift and showed us love by giving us Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior? Yes. Would you want him to be your friend? Please repeat this prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I confess I am a sinner. Please forgive me for all my sins. Come into my heart and be my friend and savior. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Now you're a child of God. And God is opening his arms wide open and showing you love and welcoming you into his kingdom. He loves you very much. Now let us also pray. Maybe you're that child. You've been lost. You've gone somewhere far, far away doing your own things and disobeying God and maybe disobeying your parents. God is not happy when we do that and even our parents are not happy. Let us ask God to help us to return back to him when we do wrong things. Let us pray. Dear God, please help us to come back to you when we do wrong. Help us not to sin against you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. That is the wonderful thing that you have done. Always stay close to God. Don't run away from God. He loves you and he wants you to stay close to, to him. His love is very, very wonderful. That reminds me of that song. It says, Jesus' love is very, very wonderful. Do you know it? Could you sing along? Jesus' love is very, very wonderful. Jesus' love is very, very wonderful. Jesus' love is very, very wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. Yes, he loves you very, very much. Do not forget that. Stay close to God. And how do you stay close to God, boys and girls? Yes, number one, by reading your Bible and pray every day. Number two, you keep on obeying your parents and you keep on uh, following the instructions that they give to you. All right. And remember to show love to even your friends and your other loved ones. Love one another. Well done. Our memory verse comes from the book of 1 John chapter 1 verse 13. Chapter 3 verse 1. 1 John chapter 3 verse 1. And the Bible says, See what kind of love that God has given to us that we should be called the sons of God. Let me repeat it again. First John chapter 3 verse 1, the Bible say, See what kind of love the Father has given to us that we should be called sons of God. Keep remembering and remember memorizing the Bible verse so that you hide it in your heart and you do not sin against God. Well done. Now, boys and girls, it's time for us to do our craft activity to help us to remember that God loves us and he wants us to stay close to him. And when we do wrong, we always say sorry. Boys and girls, we're going to make a shape of a love heart a craft activity to remind us that God loves us very, very much, and he wants us to stay and remain with him, okay? So ask your parents to cut out um, a shape like this using a pair of scissors. They help you, and you'll also need a marker pen. Once, they've cut, once you've cut out, write on one side the memory verse 
1 John chapter 3 verse 1. See what kind of love the Father has given to us that we should be called sons of God. Then on the other side, write that Jesus loves me. Yes, he loves you very, very much. Write it there and you can decorate it as you wish. See what a teacher has done. I've written Jesus loves me and the memory verse, 1 John chapter 3 verse 1. See what kind of love the Father has given unto us that we should be called the sons of God. Now that reminds me there's a song. Can I teach you this memory verse with a song? Listen in. Behold what manner of love the Father has given unto us. Behold what manner of love the Father has given unto us. That we shall be called the sons of God. That we shall be called the sons of God. Well done. Keep on singing together with your parents back at home, with your family members back at home to remember that God loves you and his love is very, very wonderful. Until next time, bye.